four separate teams. It started way, way back with Tampa, Iowa State, Ohio State, and now Colorado State. Look at this wide open touchdown, Sean Burwell. How in the world did Burwell get so wide open? Has to come from a mistake with a linebacker from the inside. Should have gotten out into the flat with him. And it's, it, it probably is going to have a little pick, a natural pick coming from one of the receivers to the inside to create problems for the linebacker. There you see Reitzig and McClellan going to the inside. They probably kept that linebacker, Hamilton or Tippeconic, from getting out there and covering him in the flat. And those are tough. Those are the toughest catches in the world because you know your guys missed you, you're wide open, and here comes the ball. Here is McCallum. He has been perfect this year. Now 36 of 36. And with 23 seconds remaining here in the first half, it is now Oregon out in front, 17 to 14. See if we can see the right side. If we'll find now how those linebackers are picked off. Tippeconic at the bottom left of your screen should have been out there. He wasn't, though, and Burwell is free and clear. Burwell, they told us, he had good hands. He showed their good concentration. They just an excellent job of setting the play up, and uh, obviously Colorado State was not ready for that type of play. Oregon on the scoreboard. And they take a lead. It took them four minutes and 15 seconds to go 45 yards. Musgrave to Burwell, a three-yard touchdown pass. I don't think it's any surprise that we're seeing the Ducks try and get their tail back outside. They want to get into the perimeter because they know when you look at Colorado State's defense, Greg, their leading tacklers are the inside linebackers, Eric Tipiconic and Otis Hamilton. I mean, 